Welcome along to episode 12 of the Escapade Show. Here we are, we're in Dumbarton and we're joined with a very special guest yes. today. Who are we joined with, Matt uh, Gal? Well, his he's gamer name, YouTube name is Marley13 and we were just saying there, we should have got him on for episode 13. I know, I just, the penny dropped. And we're like, oh. It was you who <laughs> said it. I know. So how's it going, mate, alright? I'm doing very well, thank you, just for having me. What, what, what do you like to be called as? Because uh, your name's Gary, isn't it? My name is Gary, but it's also Marley as well. Uh, if people want my bank details and other information. <laughs> <laughs> Could you Connect just write that about people? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Marley's fine. Marley's fine. Okay, so we're, we're joined here uh, yep. with Marley, who uh, has incredibly been smashing through the YouTube, well, the Scottish YouTube ranks <laughs> uh, as of. I mean, I mean, really, I suppose, uh, uh, you know, when did it all sort of kick off? When did you have the idea to start and how long have you been at well, it now? I've been at it now for six and a half, well, uh, yeah, six and a bit years. Wow. Um, it took me, I like telling people that are just starting to get into it how long it took me to get to this stage. So, mm-hmm. for example, it took me six months to get 400 subscribers Yep. after I first started. And then it took me five years to get 100,000. And within five years and five and a half years I had 200,000 mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. just like can snowball and just go nuts so mm-hmm. so quickly are you noticing just now that like the the amount of subscribers is just like it's going like exponentially yeah it's, it's like, like you refresh it and it's just last it's just year going. was insane some of the the numbers I was seeing I just couldn't believe it I couldn't get to sleep some nights because I just didn't want to stop looking at the numbers but then um it, it, it comes and goes sometimes it just goes nuts and then I'd say just now I'm probably in a, a slower period because mm-hmm. it's the hype of the latest Call of Duty's died down and that's when it's tougher to come up with more original ideas and keep, mm-hmm. yeah, and other games take over Call of Duty, which is what I'm, I mainly do, so it makes it kind of tougher. So it just, it goes it goes up and down, but as the hype for the next Call of Duty game, for mm-hmm. example, uh, starts building up, then that helps me come up with more ideas. Because you can kind of align your content, Yeah, I and suppose. get the ball rolling again, so yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's awesome. So like, that exponential growth is something that's quite... So it's very interesting. Like so how, interesting. How it's very hard to get your first mm-hmm. few hundred, but then can I, mm-hmm. I guess once you establish what it is you're doing, yeah. what you're talking mm-hmm. about, um, and I guess you become a bit of a household name. I guess it's like DJs as well. Yep. People yep. just go for it because they feel like getting just, that hit out there. Aye. That's the well. It's the same for me getting that one hit with a video like, uh, that could go viral on Facebook or whatever. So it's mm-hmm. the same way. I like creating a, an amazing song that just takes off. Totally, yeah, and same then idea. everyone will check out all your other stuff. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's, it's like, uh, what's that amazing, that, that saying, you know, they, they came for the scandal or they even, they came for that video and yeah, stayed for the content. And for the content, aye. Uh, and essentially, so what, I mean, like, obviously kicked off there about six years ago. Mm-hmm. What what even drove you to fling a, a video of you gaming on YouTube? Uh, what, well, what, what was like, the thought when process? I was, when I was about 14 or 15, um, I just wasn't in a great place at the time. I just wasn't enjoying school that much, but... I found these YouTubers, mainly American YouTubers, playing Call of Duty. And, Who like? Uh, Hutch, C-Nanners, people watching will probably recognise those yep. names. Those are mm-hmm. like just uh, like OGs of the community. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Uh, Watch <laughs> these American guys uh, do this and it was like an escape almost at the time. I, d- I wasn't really into anything on TV or that, but I could watch these guys well into like two o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. or something <laughs> when I should have been asleep getting ready for school or whatever. But yeah, I watched these guys play Call of Duty and it just helped me just help me get through a tougher time mm-hmm. um, and then eventually I thought I just began to think like, I, I can give that a go actually but it took me a while to save up the money for the equipment because mm-hmm. it can be pretty expensive yeah. mm-hmm. especially if you want to have the like minimum quality level that mm-hmm. people are expecting so I had to save up to get that equipment and then when I finally could I just thought hey, I just want to go for this mm. and that's that's it. It. and then it's just all systems go isn't it yeah. heads down get the videos out yeah I was doing it at school and I, I didn't actually tell my pals that I was doing it for. Right. So I was, I was probably about maybe four, four months, uh, first four months of me doing it. Um, and I was still at school, but I didn't tell any of my pals I was doing it. And then I kind of just dropped out of school. Just, just fell out. Of, mm-hmm. <laughs> I just couldn't be bored with it anywhere. Mm-hmm. But I was still doing the YouTube and it took, I think my pals eventually found my channel after about eight months of doing it. Just randomly found one. So actually, they and actually then found the, it. the penny dropped and they were all texting each other that night. But... I didn't tell them because I thought they would slag me for it, or uh-huh. but when they did actually find out, uh, they were all dead supportive there, I thought it was so cool. Mm. Right. Yeah. And how, how big was the channel at this point? Uh, 
I want to say it was around 2,000 subscribers they found it. So maybe that changed their opinion. If I was it definitely like, did. If I was getting like two views and, yeah. And the black knee ball on me. Who drink your mate? But that's great though. You you let the actions do the talking first. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And then and then you brought them on board and their support of which is all, always, yeah. always helpful. I wouldn't want to scare people though and like say, oh, you need to hide it for your friends. No. If you're not anywhere near like, I don't know, you're not getting the views or whatever. I would say... I just say what you feel comfortable with. I just didn't want to tell anybody. Just, <laughs> so, well, I think I think this is already valuable though. We've 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 actually got a young person in the, the studio with us today who's watching a big fan of yours, and and straight away, you know, as you're talking about you, you know, sort of weren't really getting on well at school, but wanted yeah. to do something a bit different. Mm-hmm. See, in terms of when you first started uploading, yeah. Did you feel a confidence issue at first? Were you thinking, oh my God, my voice is horrid? Because yeah. you, know, you know what it's like when you um, hear your own voice back or that, you're like, this is terrible. I still, but- I still have it to this day. See, when people are playing my videos and I'm like, in the room with them, I cannot, <laughs> need to get out there, I cannot hear it. So it just that's something you maybe I'll never get over. But mm-hmm. uh, when I first started, yeah, when I go watch my older videos now and I think, oh God, it's just so, so, it's, it feels like a different person watching it back then. Mm-hmm. So I was... Yeah, 16, 17, and it, it actually does feel like a different person. Wasn't anywhere near as confident or uh, even what I was saying. It wasn't like scripted the way it is or mm-hmm. I wasn't as good as thinking of things on the fly, that sort of way. Right. So it was just, yeah, it was like anything, it just took practice. It's a learning curve. It. Yeah, totally. The, it's, it's the same, literally anything, you practice it and you do it over and over again, you eventually get better at it. Yep. That's it. And you're always like, you know, looking back at your previous content. I was going like, to say that. Aye, <laughs> absolutely. With tracks and stuff as well. You're like, no, no. why <laughs> did I put a, that out there? Was <laughs> but I thought that was a banger at the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's <laughs> it. Made it. <laughs> number one. <laughs> Wait to the market. Send yourself. the check. Send the check. <laughs> um, I, I know, that's, that's really interesting. But see, there's a lesson in that though. It's like, if you hadn't started and were shite, then you wouldn't mm. be where you're yeah. at. And yeah. it's like, you just need to start. You just need to do it. You yeah. just need to do it to get good at it. You, you don't start, start off good. No, you just, you totally don't. And I think back to our community radio days. And, you know, I'd be like shaking, like absolutely shaking, yeah. knowing that the minute I put those mics up, people in their cars yeah. are going to listen to this, mm-hmm. you know. And we could cause a crash here. <laughs> we could literally do anything. <laughs> <We could. laughs> you know, me and you were so bad back uh. then. Like, try to... Kid on over good. We're trying to change the radio station that quickly. They might crash. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, uh, no, but that's that's true. You've you've got to start like anything, you know, anything, anything creative or, or or you know. Anything one of, one know. of the main things I, I like to tell people it's like feels like people asking for advice. It's it's tough to try. I I don't like to just give them the generic cliches like oh be original or whatever because they they are true. But mm-hmm. I'm trying. What I try and tell people is when you're first starting, just try every single idea that comes to your mind. Mm-hmm. Like, literally every single thing that you think would be uh, a good watch for someone. Try and make that. And then once you start to see one of your ideas maybe start to pick up a bit of traction, then why not just Double down start on that. to run, run with that? Yeah. Mm. So it's just yeah, try to find what works for you. That's great. Mm. you know, And that's a great bit of business advice as well. Like Absolutely. Try, try the things out and, and what you find actually works and go, oh, that actually worked. Mm-hmm. You just said it there, double down on it. Mm-hmm. Double down on what what's, sticks. That's what's resonating. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about yeah. resonating, that beautiful yeah. word there. Yeah, so I mean, was it a case of, so for you, did that work out in the form of like doing Call of Duty videos and yeah. stuff and thinking, right, I've been doing other gaming, but really the COD ones are the uh, ones that well, are working? Or? It was it was still Call of Duty, but it was more the style. So I started off doing, it was a topic maybe mm-hmm. about Call of Duty or just something random. Because that's what was the, the norm. That's what these guys did. But then... Over time, people just want something new, and I seen something at the time. What I w- what what I was doing at the time wasn't really comedy, but that's kind of what I wanted to do. And then I eventually found, or not found, but I knew this thing called trolling, right? I know that's a bit of a toxic word, but trolling mm-hmm. in Call of Duty games, winding people up, but mm-hmm. having having a laugh. It's not Aye. mean or anything. Just Aye. trapping them in a corner or skilling their kid, just something like that, you know? Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pure <laughs> basic stuff, right? <laughs> I found I found a. I had a wee bit of a knack for it and I started making videos like that and something that was, I didn't come up with the idea but it was just kind of starting off with subtitling the videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just kind of, I don't know, it just adds something to it. It just makes it a bit it funnier does. and agree, easier yeah. to watch. Yeah. So I started doing that and then one of those trolling videos took off and that was my first big break which was at 400 subscribers. Mm-hmm. And then it was like two weeks later, I had 2,000. And then, wow. yeah. It shows you it's just down to that hit. Yeah. It's that one yeah. video. It's that one tune. Yeah. It's that one movie. It's it's like... Yeah. But you've got to be in it to win it. You know? Christ. Yeah. And you've, you've already, yeah. you were already smashing them out there for ages anyway yeah. before anybody yeah. took notice. I think, yeah. I'm trying to th- it would have been tougher if I hadn't made a bunch of videos before. 
See if you were to make something just out of nowhere and it takes off, but you haven't done anything previous mm. to that. Maybe that would be tougher to keep that going because now the standards set like here. But well, you're expected when people. I suppose when people found me at that point, I did have some Lord. more videos that they could. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for that gradual rise to yeah, fame, yeah. though, because you know, see when someone comes across your channel, say, "Oh, that video's great," they go to look for other stuff, mm -hmm. and it's like one hit wonder. And then you can yeah. fall. You see with music artists. One hit wonders because there's not a, yeah. there's not that the levels. Well, that's the scary it. thing actually. Not built I can't, the I can't right? remember who who exactly said. It. I think they were in music. Um, can't remember, it, but they said something like, "It may seem like you're an overnight success. It may seem like that to you, but mm -hmm. for me, this has been that's been six years. It's a ten yeah. year <laughs> six, overnight yeah. success. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, that's a favourite down yeah. here as well. Yes. You know, it's like an overnight overnight success takes it's ten years to ten build. Years yeah. to build. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's well, it's so it is so true, but it's like it's perceived that way, and I think that that's a, that's a real good point because it's like even us, if you, you look back at our first kind of videos, we're kind of amateur, eh? we're doing them ourselves, things like that. Even to to now, are so much better. Mm -hmm. And then you know, fast forward another three years, we'll be looking back at these ones probably and like, man. Yeah. Look how much you know. You're mm -hmm. always improving. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's yeah. it. I mean, we started our first kind of podcast things, and you're you're talking. You've got a phone plugged into something mm -hmm. or whatever, and you mm -hmm. know now this yeah. is just a brand new. We were setting this up at the moment, yeah. and this will evolve. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. There'll be more stuff in the tables, well, and yeah, yeah. upgrade and da, 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 da. I'm kind of going through that myself at the moment, trying to, uh, you know, just sort out my setup and thinking what I can add. Enhance to the quality. I can add to my because you know I'm I'm happy with the the way I make videos but I just think it's been a while since I've tried something a wee bit a mm -hmm. bit different so I've mm -hmm. been trying to think of something to add to the channel because uh, I'm thinking like, I want to make it more uh, involved like having mm -hmm. a I do kind of have a community but I want it I want more sort of Interaction. inside jokes and everything I want to feel like you're kind of part of something when you're watching a video like other people enjoying it at the same time I think live streamers have that a bit more mm -hmm. with the with the live chat and live interaction. So I've mm -hmm. started wanting to do more live streams. Yeah, as well. that's a good that's It's yeah. important. Yeah, and building that community is, is so key, isn't it? Yeah. It's yep. like people belong into something. Yeah, and they feel they want to come back and of watch course. more. Yeah, because yeah. if you end up being your, like you're their mate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Well, know they what know I mean? all about you. They know everything, aye. I know, which can a, freak you out, but at the yeah. same time, there's it's a, true. There's you know? a live streamer I watch, and I'm like, I, I, when I when I watch him and I watch the chat, I'm like, I am part of this. So <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like, to so see that first video, then uh, the one that really kind of spiraled yeah. off. What was that like? Because I mean, that I mean, how many hits is it? Kind of, uh, what did it peak it was, at? It was a scary few. Uh, well, the, the very very first break, it wasn't the way it worked. Is it wasn't on my own channel. The way it worked is there was a thing called community channel so they, okay. have, they have like millions of subscribers and they take in suggested or oh, submitted video sorry mm -hmm. and they post it to their audience and obviously mm -hmm. that's huge that's so huge the, the way it works out is obviously they get the money from the video which i don't really care about if you're getting the uh if you're building a fan base if you're getting yeah you can gain like a thousand subscribers off that and that can change your life so mm -hmm. it is yeah that that's the way it worked at the time uh, i think it got around a hundred thousand views and i was getting around maybe 700 views for me so when mm -hmm. i seen that on their channel and all the subscribers coming back off that yeah it was a bit scary actually mm. <laughs> think of it yeah yeah and then uh my next sort of break after that was to do with scottish quad players uh that was mainly on facebook though and that went kind of everywhere massive. everywhere Aye. the lad bible were writing articles about it and uh it wasn't just me but me and the other guys that we make the videos with would get jump in the party and be like, "Oh my god, you see it here? I seen it here. I see my pal tagging it in this, and they don't even know it's me." <laughs> yeah, it was it was mad. So was just mad. onto that then. So obviously that's a video that a lot of people know you yeah, for, yeah. know your yeah. channel. We've been creased about I mean, that one yeah. multiple times, man. Mm -hmm. The the pattern in it is just great. It's that I, I I sometimes go back and watch them as well. I think they're just I think they're it good, can light your day up. You know, yeah. I, it was the first thing I watched when I came in this morning, like yeah. Monday morning, boom, yeah, straight yeah. in. You know, yeah. it does set you up. You yeah. know, it's hilarious. Yeah. So see how did that was that you guys just gaming and you're recording and that's just normal power so, for so the, the way <laughs> yeah the way the way it worked is uh, i first came across those guys because i made a trolling video of them or not trolling well yeah i kind of i was winding up uh, i was winding up one of the guys um i think we were in opposite teams but i was in i was in one of their team and i think a team killed them and uh, you didn't know yeah. each other at this no, point did, did not know each other they obviously they all did they played together for years before that but i randomly came across them and i tried to wind them up a little bit and then uh, they were just kind of uh, well, not arguing. It's it's genuine. Not all of the Scottish Coppola stuff is genuine. That's, That's the way they are all the time. <laughs> um, so they were doing that, and I just recorded that, subtitled it, and put it up. And then people will obviously messaged them, and then they found me, mm -hmm. and then we just yeah started making making more videos. Um, just start jumping into parties with them and playing games and recording it, and went for there. Is it is it noodles? You see the Nood noodles. 
Uh, Noodles was definitely the main guy. He is so funny, man. You wonder where that comes from. But see, also what you were talking about, like the subtitles, right? The subtitles are mega important, especially in today's society where nobody's got an attention span. Mm. So they're not even clicking the video, but they're reading it. But I think yours already stood out because they were all coloured to everybody's name. They were a wee bit fancy, the subtitles, as opposed to boring, if you get. Yeah, colour coded everyone. Noodles was green, uh, I'm blue. Uh, Rangers was yellow. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> yes, everyone's got their own colours and it was I I kinda subtitled them for people outside of Scotland at mm-hmm. the same time. So stuff would be like Ma would be written as mums just mm-hmm. so yeah. people understood like other sort of slang words that people outside of Scotland wouldn't recognise. Yep. I think very smart. I, I, it was a wee, I didn't actually think it was that important at the time, but people have told me that it did help a lot. Well, definitely. So, it's a wee, a uh, small detail that yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah. There's also a window into how we speak over here for foreigners. Yeah, yeah. So like when eventually if they if they do find it really mm-hmm. funny, then they're then hearing like, oh, ma must mean mum yeah. over there. So they're actually learning something as well. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's true. That's oh, the, cool. The audience for Scottish cod players wasn't it just Scotland or the UK. It was <laughs> the Americans were, were pretty mad for it. Aye. <laughs> something different for them as well, yeah. wasn't it? It's like there was. I think a good thing about it there was literally nothing like it. No. It was yeah. Unique. It was. It was a good laugh. I, I do, I do miss it a bit because it has been, it's been well over a year since, since the last one. In fact, is it must be coming up for two years thinking about it now. Mm-hmm. But um, it was just kind of sad. Just kind of ran out of time for it. Uh, other videos I wanted to make just kind of took priority. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for people that were just fancy Scottish cop players and not me, that's just the way it worked. And mm-hmm. these guys have lives as well, mm-hmm. um, so we all couldn't get on at the same time, and it kind of just. It was drifted away. Feel quite, feel quite happy just to leave it, leave it there though. It's fine, and I wouldn't for people that are thinking, "Was it ever going to come back?" I did get asked that question mm-hmm. like every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would like never ever come back. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me. It's got to be right though. Yeah, yeah, but it, it would have to be. It's took, it's took a couple breaks. This is definitely the longest one, but it did take a couple breaks, and every time it came back, it get even bigger. So that would be my worry if I ever did it again. It would need to be. Need to be it's a flop. Even better. Yeah. There's, a lot, there's a lot in that building that anticipation, yeah. not giving uh, the people what they want against yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and, and just building and building and building that tension up. So it's still game, done it? Aye. Mm. Is it well? Yeah, there's. I think I think we were talking about that. Yeah, it was uh, just that expectation people have that it's not going to be as good as it as it used to be, mm-hmm. which is uh, it must be really tough for the people creating still game. Obviously, think, oh my god, I need to absolutely nail this. So on a smaller I scale, I need to think of that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think though, like you know, with the still game example, like, it probably worked because they left it so long. See if yeah. they went maybe two, three years after it, mm-hmm. and then they tried to come back in a bit soon. But the demand after so long, everyone was screaming for it. Mm-hmm. You know, they just held it. For, I and, know, and <laughs> like as all oh, they talked about. They, they did the live show before they got there. They did, and they judged the so engagement. Aye, and it was sold so, out. Yeah, yeah, they did it. Right. Every show, those, those guys are funny and smart enough they, they can they can pull out the bag they know what they're they doing do it, yeah. I wouldn't suggest leaving Scottish Cod for uh, about uh, 8 hey, years old yeah and then the hydro that was something that was something we actually discussed at one point I spoke to a couple of people who were kind of interested in doing a live show but it was a lot of planning involved in that of course of but I mean I think that team that you had yeah. you know if you're all playing COD getting hilarious banter on that you know it could yeah. be quite funny it's uh, it's obviously not really it and it's been done no. and obviously you're quite up for trailblazing mate so it's potentially yeah. something you could do it was uh, yeah it was it was kind of weird for me at the same time though because it was weird making something that you're not the main person of like obviously Noodles is the main guy and when you think of Scottish cod players you're not you're not thinking me you're thinking mm-hmm. Noodles mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose I was more like a a director almost, mm-hmm. a producer. Kind of facilitating. Yeah, yeah. Um, came in here and there, but it was it was all mainly main, mm-hmm. mainly Nadal. So uh, he kind of he's tried to do his own channel. He made two videos, mm-hmm. and I thought he was just about to catch the bug for it because I remember one time he phoned me up asking how to edit this thing, and I was like, oh yes, he's got it. He's actually going to mm-hmm. make his own videos because that's another thing people ask me a lot. Where's where's him? Like, no, just going to ask him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But so is, is he involved in it then? So nah, he just he, he kind of just. I guess you you're either in it. Or you, you can't force I guess it. That's true. Really, he just wasn't. He just wasn't. Uh, you, you yeah. do need to be cut out for the. It's, I mean, it's quite it's uh, a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work. It's the Especially processes. Especially like working full time as well. Absolutely. At the same time, yeah. You know, we see it with the amount of editing and rendering and stuff that goes into like, yeah. you know, producing content. You, yeah. you do need to have a, you need to be cut from a certain mm. cloth. And to you do need it, to right? have a lot of time in your hands to be doing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And, and you need to just like be bothered with it, like learning how to edit. Nah, you need to just that is a bit of process yeah. so just going on to that then what what do you think the main things for let's say up and coming YouTubers are what's the key things you, you need to learn really to, uh, to, do, to do it to launch 
Del- well, I, I think I think audio is actually like really I don't know understated how important it is. Yeah, having a, a really good microphone and just you know no pops or whatever mm-hmm. in it. I think I think a lot of people just kind of ignore the audio part. They think that I need to get the highest HD, the 4K quality. Yeah, and then they'll have like a a, like a five pound USB mic or something. Not mm-hmm. that you can not that you can't get good quality with like a cheaper yeah. microphone. I, I, I did when I started it was fine, but just some just getting the audio right is important for me okay. I'd say I'd say to people yeah that's a great that. bit that's a great thing yeah. aye so audio we come at it from an audio we, we yeah. are audio people so mm-hmm. we always had that dialed in from the start yeah. it's very yeah. important because mm-hmm. a lot of the time if you come up across something and the audio isn't right you're yeah. not there I think you can you can watch something that in lower quality but you couldn't listen to something that's bad no, quality no you're absolutely right yeah yeah I'd always rather watch something in lower quality mm-hmm. with better audio. So yeah. audio is a good tip mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. Any other ones? Uh, well, just learning, learning basic editing, like uh, you know, just you can all you can learn it off of YouTube. I didn't, yeah, I didn't go to school or like learn this. I just all self taught off YouTube. So um, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Aye, that's it. That's yeah. probably using the platform that you're eventually. So you're you're working full time now, YouTube yeah, and yeah, uh, I've been doing. So I've been doing this for six years, but I wasn't earning a full time living for six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've probably I've been earning like a full time living for I'd say two, uh, just under two years. I'd say is when it finally ticked over. I was earning enough to get by, but it was not, nothing, nothing no. like crazy. It was like literally just enough to get <laughs> to get by. Yeah, uh, and then yeah, just over just under two years, it, it became like. I actually decided that like, I want to actually treat this a bit more serious. Like this is this is obviously what I want to do. I'd been mm-hmm. doing it for four years, but mm-hmm. I just wanted to take it a bit more serious mm-hmm. and uh, dedicate, be more time conscious. Because it maybe be like ah, I can't really be bored making a video today. I'll just I'll just kind of loaf a bit or whatever. And then I decided right now this is the time I'm going to record and this, this is the time I'm going to write videos. Mm-hmm. And this is when I put it all together. So it's just be more time conscious and treating it as if I'm on the clock. A job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you've been doing that ever since. Yeah, there's yeah. a good bit of advice. Yeah. So how how does your week balance out? What's a what's a week like uh, for Marley? Well, I try. I aim to upload on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's perfect for me. Sometimes it doesn't work like that. Sometimes there'll be an update out for Call of Duty that I need to cover on the Wednesday or whatever. So that's cool. I'll maybe say on the Monday. I'll say I'm doing a scripted video on Tuesday. On the Monday, I'll probably write it write it all out uh get the script done if it's not fully scripted then bullet points mm-hmm. at least so i know what I, I want to do yeah do that during the day and then at night probably go and record all the clips i need mm-hmm. for that video and then on the tuesday uh i would record my actual speaking part and then piece it all together and that right. takes i'd say each video takes on average about eight hours from start to finish yeah, start from, to finish, from idea yeah to producing it to it's uploaded yeah yeah, right. eight, eight hours. So that's like a regular sort of working day. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, and so, some videos can just be. Sometimes I'm just really feeling it. I can knock a video out in like five hours, and then other times, uh, sometimes I'll just end up putting your hair write, out, writing loads and loads and loads, and then it has to take me about twelve hours to make a video. So mm-hmm. yeah, a lot of time anyway. But, yeah. And can you believe you're actually at a point now where you're saying you are full time YouTuber? Uh, it's still, can it's you still actually believe of, it? Uh, like. Speaking to people that don't actually know what YouTubers real well, they know roughly what YouTubers are, but they don't know like the process, day to day stuff. When I describe that, sometimes I have to stop and think like, "What am I actually talking about? Yeah. Is, this, is this what? I, yeah, this is what I actually do." Yeah, yeah, it is. No, it's it's something I'd never take for granted, or because mm-hmm. something could happen tomorrow and YouTube decides that you're not allowed to earn money off your videos anymore. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's a a realistic worry mm-hmm. that that a lot of us have. So. I know no, that's I, it. I just enjoy it. Yeah. YouTube and Facebook are changing all the time. All I was the time. noticing that a lot with Facebook just now. Like things are just wild how much they're changing it. Um and you wonder like what will happen to all these communities that are using these platforms in ten years if something else happens. Yeah. Or, you know, will it just be a shift onto another platform mm-hmm. that's better? Or yeah. Will it get too saturated a bit like Facebook's getting? I now? think you're just hit with adverts I think constantly. For, I don't as far as gaming goes, Twitch is Twitch and live streaming is mm-hmm. making a huge push because YouTube's just been so inconsistent. They don't tell you a lot of the changes they're making and uh, when it comes to games and stuff, they're a bit weird about violence in games and stuff like that. So it can be quite hard for mm-hmm. people to start earning money, like actually start earning uh, decent money from it and turn it into a full-time, full-time job. So I do appreciate that. But whereas Twitch, that's obviously more of a gradual thing, building up your viewer base on a live stream. So people are 
people are a bit more interested in that because it's safer almost mm -hmm. uh, and you know what you're getting into whereas YouTube you just yeah they, you don't know what they're up to and Twitch is really taking advantage of that at the moment yeah have you had any contact with YouTube and uh, does yeah, any, any of that a, stuff I've happen? got a partner manager yeah uh, that I can speak to if I want I've been to a couple of YouTube uh, events in Edinburgh they invite people to kind of talk about up and coming features and feedback and uh, different practices you could carry out which which is good but I think sometimes those things are restricted to people with certain uh, subscriber counts so it'd be good they do host some events but not as much that are open to everybody <coughs> to go along yeah. and speak to actual YouTube employees mm -hmm. uh, about things so those, those are pretty interesting yeah well I'm sure as you as you keep growing you know that the, mm. the, there'll be potential sort of as uh, more yeah yeah that they, they, they do obviously like prioritize people because they want to keep on making videos that's just that's just the way it is unfortunately they for people lower down the, the bracket, they just need to, I don't know. It'd be good if YouTube had more opportunities for people to speak to, mm -hmm. to speak to actual YouTube employees and ask them what they're up well, to. The thing is, YouTube is your biggest resource. There's yeah. pretty much a video on how to do everything. Yeah. Everything. There'll be somebody yeah. talking about probably yeah. that somewhere. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. some guy. So I want to help. How to, how to do a podcast. That'll be, exactly. That'll be absolutely yeah. is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a funny, funny thing. Mm -hmm. There's... Mm -hmm. There's a video on it, probably. Well, there's, and there's also guys, there's also videos of guys on YouTube talking about how there's everything on YouTube. Yeah. Like right now. Yeah. Now we're down the rabbit hole. <laughs> but it is. Feedback. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, is, it, is, it is. It's such a, it's such a new terrain. I mean, one, one of the things that we see, we, we do a lot of community work in mm -hmm. schools and stuff. And, you know, over 75% of young people want to become YouTubers yep, now. Yep, I've seen articles about that on BBC, that like questionnaires, what you want to do as a job, and YouTuber is really high, <laughs> high up there. High up there. But yeah. see, one thing I always say to them then is I say, right, well, right, hands up if you want to be a YouTuber, right, the hands go up, right, hands up if you have a channel. Mm -hmm. Less hands go yeah, up. Yeah. And then I say, who all uploaded a video this week? No hands. No. Nah, Ever. No. Nah. I've yet to see it like actually within like a weekly thing mm. so i think that's a major thing as well yeah. as like being consistent suppose, with your content i suppose at that point you, you ask at what point are you a youtuber yes is it like is it when you're it's a full-time job or is it i'd say it's more when you're just uploading consistently yep mm -hmm. yeah because uploading like a couple of videos here your, your dog's running about i don't know if that would clash you as an actual no. youtuber mm -hmm. no i'd say it's uploading consistently means you are yeah, you're doing it. You're yeah. putting effort in. Yeah. Yeah. So, in terms of advice for people to try and grow their channels, mm -hmm. let's say they're maybe floating about, you know, right. a few hundred subscribers. Mm -hmm. They're uploading once or twice a week. Yeah. They're trying to do everything right. What what, what sort of advice well, could you give them in terms of tagging things like that? Yeah, uh, obviously you need yeah you need clickbait is quite controversial, but it's. It's part. It's part of the game. When people say, oh, "I shouldn't have clickbait," blah blah blah, it's not. It's, it's literally. It's part of the game. If you want to try and do something, you need to clickbait in some form. But clickbait for me, a successful clickbait is having a catchy title, and the thing in the title actually happens in the video, so the person mm -hmm. isn't disappointed. So being clever with your titles, mm -hmm. uh, eye catching thumbnails, of course, like you, these YouTube employees will tell you all that yep. stuff. <clears throat> uh, right tags, right keywords in the description. I think people forget about that. The top three lines of the description really important for you, you're not you can't just spam the keywords you're looking for you can't just copy and paste them over and over again that's against the rules that will get mm -hmm. you <laughs> in trouble um but writing out a description that hits the keywords and an actual sentence actually describing the video uh, i like to try and try and do that the best i can which mm -hmm. helps in search results and, and that but in terms of trying to get a video or a series off the ground uh, if it's something that is actually shareable that people would be like, oh yeah, show show their friends that. Uh, Facebook is actually good for that. <laughs> I found a lot of growth f through Facebook. It's just more people just tend to share things more on Facebook. So maybe posting a shorter, more condensed mm -hmm. version of the video on Facebook that people can share, and then with a link to the actual video. Yeah, that's, that's it. And that helped me a lot. Um, Reddit's really good as well, uh, but you need to be careful because Reddit's the people on Reddit are really uh, uptight about people just wanting to promote their videos. It needs to be something that's part of a community it's like sharing a call of duty video on a call of duty subreddit it's appropriate it's mm -hmm. people would actually want to see that so sharing mm. your videos on platforms where it's appropriate i'd say is is important yeah. it's really interesting mm. really interesting mm. because it is it's like you're not just you're you're now pushing it beyond just youtube yeah yeah you know and and i think uh, an important thing there so see when you're like cutting down a video to then put on facebook mm -hmm. 
you're just putting that as a raw file with the link to the actual YouTube because yeah. you're wanting to keep people on Facebook and yeah. YouTube or try to keep people on YouTube. Yeah. And, oh well, my God. well, I eventually found out just through trial and error <coughs> over a while. And other people have backed this up. It's, it's, again, it's not, I don't think you'll find a definite this is how it works, this isn't, isn't how it works. But when I'm linking the full video on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, I shorten the URL to a, a bit.ly link. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, Facebook doesn't recognise it as a YouTube link, right. so it doesn't. Because when you link YouTube on Facebook, it like they just don't like it. They don't put the post further down the list. The algorithm is, it, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, Molly, yeah, they were just yeah, chatting there, yeah. like, um, and you know we're talking about obviously editing and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But a major thing um, that we've been discussing recently mm -hmm. is like um, it doesn't matter how many people you're impressing or, or making happy or, yeah. or, or affecting them emotionally in a positive way, whether yeah. that's mm -hmm. one person or 100,000, mm -hmm. you're still making them happy. And no matter what, you're going to make other people yeah. Uh, yeah, happy. That's what, yeah, that's what I was saying. The getting, I remember getting my first 100 views mm -hmm. on a video and it was the exact same feeling as when my first ever time getting 100,000. Mm -hmm. It was the exact same buzz. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't it doesn't feel like more like crazy because... I'd never had a hundred views, mm -hmm. obviously, at the time. So that exactly that was, still a buzz. Yeah, it was still a buzz. And uh, comments, like just getting comments from people saying, "I really enjoyed that video." Uh, subscribing for more, mm -hmm. I still get that same sort of happy feeling when I see people comment comment that today. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's good. Like, no, that's amazing. Yeah, and again, I think the important thing is, it's like what 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 is a testament? I think for for young people, because mm -hmm. as we spoke about earlier, they're, they're all into YouTube and they're all wanting to be famous. Yes, but it's like. If you can change one person's life or make that one person yeah. laugh or whatever it may be, whether it's music, comedy, whatever, it's it, you know it is the same feeling, and it also shows that it works. Yeah, it will yeah. just be multiplied as you continue to be the consistent. Is, there's billions of people on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need them all. It's just getting bigger and bigger. I, anyway. yeah. If one person likes it, then job got, done. Out, out of that seven point seven billion or mm -hmm. whatever it is now, mm -hmm. there's going to be others. And isn't that well, great, that's a, great wee nugget there. I think another major part is is you don't need. 7.7 7 no, billion no. subscribers you don't need it you need to create your own audience yeah. and just have a legion of followers who who love you for yeah. what you do i'd say obviously we all agree that it's great that young people are trying to get into youtube but yes at the same time there is something about them just wanting to be famous and just yeah. just famous for like for nothing for the sake of it yeah i don't think they yeah they realize that the numbers are actual people that's why i love going to these gaming events and stuff because you see that it isn't just a number or it isn't just a little, little picture and a name on a screen. It is an actual person yeah. that's commented that and watched the videos. That's why it's it's great to meet people in person. That, that's that's a, very nice. That's amazing because you don't know what uh, those people are going through at a particular yeah. point in their life or whatever, and, and your content's keeping them going. Yeah. Just as, just the way you said that happened with yourself. You're looking at the American yeah. gamers and stuff. Yeah. And you're going through a bit of a hard time. Yeah. But that kept, that kept you going. Yeah. Again, it's down to emotions in it. If somebody's making you laugh. Yeah. You know, and you're immediately not in that that situation. Yeah, it's that you're an escape. In yeah, exactly. Yeah. Even it. like I've I always try to say to people that it's if, even if it's just for five minutes or so, the taking taking people's mind off something. For Forget five about minutes the rent. Is, yeah, is is a, a great feeling. It's something that's I know quite humbling. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. Even still to this day, I try and give I get messages from time to time from people saying they were in the same situation situation mm -hmm. as I was when yeah. I was fourteen, fifteen, and. I always try and just say like, look, if I've got time, I'll say like that. That was me as well, so I can I can relate to that. I know uh, how that how that must feel. Uh, so it's it is one of the best parts about the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, mm, that's brilliant. So you're talking about events there. Tell us a wee bit about how these work. What big ones should people be looking out for? How do people get involved and what's been your, your yeah, best one? Got, uh, well, you've got Insomnia, which is is pretty nuts. Uh, it's a game festival and. Uh, I'm lucky enough to be at the stage now where they invite me down to that event where is that? And, and hang around. That's in Birmingham. Uh, they have two or three events a year, Birmingham. Um, and you were saying it's like the tea in the park. Yeah, yeah. the uh, tea in the uh, park of games. It's uh, you just go down and play games with your mates. They have shows at night with DJs and they have uh, a big. It's like the, the world famous pub quiz they call it, but it's a pub quiz based on game stuff. Uh, it's just a bit of a riot and it's, it's great and during the day uh, like huge YouTubers and even uh, people like myself and people are people that are even smaller than me get the chance to do meet and greets 
uh, you hang, hang around for an hour or so and you can mm-hmm. have a chat, take a selfie or sign an, an autograph or whatever. And I'll just be hanging about the event because I find that a good laugh anyway. So mm-hmm. yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. So that's the, is that the NEC? Birmingham NEC, uh, yeah. I've been a few events, it's cracking then, some uh, space. The biggest one up here is Resonate and the SECC cool. uh, last year. They actually collaborated with Insomnia last year to make an event and that was that was pretty nuts. Uh, me and another Scottish YouTuber uh, called Batchy, through his YouTube community called Create Scotland, mm-hmm. uh, we hosted our own booth uh, and we were selling t-shirts and uh, taking pictures and signing stuff uh, during the day and that was that was honestly one of the best weekends of my life meeting yeah. all these people and that's, that's amazing, amazing. Yeah, it, was, it was great yeah that's brilliant to that again this that's for anyone watching or anyone who's watching this show it's like if, if you are interested in gaming or that you know you, you get to these events these, these events are the best opportunity you'll get to actually because we do q and a's at these events as well uh pretty much every day uh mm-hmm. and that's that's one of your best opportunities to learn something and like i said earlier i i, I personally try my best not to give the uh, cliche sort of answers and yeah. try and give a more yeah in depth answer to what work hard for. yeah work hard be original yeah. <laughs> be brave <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no that's that, that's, yeah. that's brilliant again see when you do go to these events or whether I go to play a gig or mm-hmm. you know we go to something mm-hmm. actually affects your energy like you leave the place like on another level yeah, like yeah. you know mm-hmm. your adrenaline kicks in your excitement and then mm-hmm. you've got that you know, you've got that that drive mm. yeah. com- comes yeah. back. So I think that's there's a lot of that. I constantly attending events or meeting people, being around that yeah. other people's energies, yeah. like frightening how much it can help. Especially you. in an industry or something like that where they're into you. So I whether was, it's your yeah, music for, or your game or that. For the weekend of these events, I'm walking on here. Um, <laughs> it's just an extra spring my step. <laughs> like it's a, uh, as a crazy good feeling. Mm. Uh, can't I actually can't replicate that anywhere else than just meeting someone who's into watching your videos and, and supports you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. That, that's amazing. You get any other questions? No, I had um I mean I've just I've got uh, a couple here. Just, yeah, I thought yeah. you were, you were No, no, I've just I'm just kinda I think I'm just buzzing off the fact that you're out there doing something <laughs> that you like. Do yeah, you know what I mean? Good. Because especially in Scotland, it's uh, you know what it's like, the mentality over here. Like, every day, as you said, you actually yeah. were at the point where you hid it for your pals. Yeah, no, because you I, know what it's I like. Seen a, I seen a great article. I wish I could remember where I where I seen it and, and who wrote it, but it was based on there's some, there is a particular thing about Scottish people that are like, oh, that's cringy, like, putting yourself out there. Mm-hmm. Like, there is something about... It's going to sound like I'm a traitor or something here, but Scottish people, they like to drag people down. Like, yeah. who do you think you are sort of thing. Yeah, uh, it's very true. Yeah. But it's, that's but a, putting it's your true. head above the parapet and actually putting yourself out there. Is there something that Scottish people just don't really like about that? And so it can be pretty scary, no matter if it's YouTube or... I couldn't even imagine trying something like poetry or whatever. Like, imagine trying to do that. Well, we've got <laughs> yeah. friends are Scottish rappers. Yeah. Uh, Scottish rappers with Chris McQueer in here as well. You know, yeah. he writes some stuff. Everyone, myself included, has, has went through this. Like, yeah, man, yeah. what is everybody going yeah. to say? Yeah. Here? Like, think? I still get comments of people saying like, uh, "Oh, your videos are such cringe or whatever." And some, some for a second you're like, "Oh, maybe, maybe they're." And then for a second you just think, "Well, I'm doing this full like, time, yeah, my yeah, man." Like, <laughs> you do, you do get a bit. Of, it it gets easier to deal with, I suppose. Uh, mm-hmm. The more times you hear that, I kind of laugh nowadays and. Uh, Almost, almost like a snobby way. You're like, well, what, what are you up to, sort mm-hmm. of thing? How you, how's my stuff, cringy? What, what have you Aye. done? Yeah. Aye. And you're looking. There's absolutely let no videos, yeah, no let, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see what you've made before. Aye. Yeah. It's a video his dog running about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, there's a lot to be said so. for as well. Like, if you've got hundreds of haters, then you've obviously yeah. got plenty of people that like your stuff yeah. as well. But well, you're doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're doing the right thing. Haters aren't necessarily a bad it's, thing. It's the equal thing. It's like, well, there's positives or neg- yeah. there's negatives. So if you've got plenty of people hating you. It doesn't just exist there. Well, maybe for some people, yeah. it's just like... I'd say, like, all, all all the time when you see people saying, especially when you're just starting, people say, I like, you're cringe or whatever, you, you do feel like, well, what have you ever tried to do? Like, what? why <laughs> am I the, the bad guy here? Aye. So for, for people just starting out and maybe they're facing a bit of that, I would say just maybe not get an ego, but just be more mm-hmm. bold. Push through. Just, yeah. Just Who cares, it. basically, yeah, what yeah, they're saying? Yeah. As exactly. long as they're commenting in your video, that's what matters. yeah. yeah. That's it. You know, I, I read a, this goes back to one of those books we were discussing. Um, there was a writer who actually intentionally put bad press out about himself. Yeah. But yeah. that bad press was mm-hmm. bad press. It's still mm-hmm. press. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot in that. You mm-hmm. know, like, yep. um, no matter what people are saying, as long as they're saying something. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. That's an important one. Mm-hmm. Now, should we rally, rally into some of these questions? I, will, um, I was going to mention, uh, you've been doing some stuff with the BBC Social, yep. haven't you? Yep. How did that all come nice. about? Uh, that started in January 2016. I'd kind of heard of the social um, before they contacted me. I'd kind of seen what they were about, and mm-hmm. they asked for people like myself creating stuff online that haven't haven't been to school or whatever to learn, that sort of thing. They're into people just, I don't know, what you'd call it, Gra- grassroots. grassroots. Yeah, that's Aye. the word I was looking for, yeah. So, so they're into picking up people creating stuff like myself, and they contacted me and asked me just in for a, a chat at the BBC, and I was I was absolutely buzzing with that. When I got that email, actually, I did I did literally phone my mum after mm-hmm. saying, "My God, have you gone into BBC tomorrow?" <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. Chat, and uh, that's that shows you how crazy things can change. So, uh, I went from getting to the stage where I was like, I might need to get a part time job on the side just to keep my just to sustain what I was mm-hmm. doing, and then got an email from the BBC saying wanted them wanted me in for a chat went in for a chat the next day and I came out of that meeting with uh, a series they wanted me to do mm-hmm. and got to making videos for them straight away so then the, the producers there and uh, the team behind the social are just great they're just so forward so, thinking aren't they? so positive and yeah forward thinking and keen on young people making stuff for young mm-hmm. people because the BBC is terrified of that it's just that older audience they want that that younger audience back well they need to don't well, they they're that, they are doing a good job yeah. um we've done some th- things with the bbc i've got a couple of friends who i've grew up into the scene with who are working with the bbc yeah. now and, and i love it they've, they've clearly got their finger on specifically the but it's bbc scotland have just done a an amazing job trying to turn this around they've got a new channel coming as well yep soon, which yes. is specifically for it's going to have like shows for younger audiences mm-hmm. like late night sort of stuff mm-hmm. yeah for that 18 to like maybe 35 year old yeah sort of age bracket, bracket so it's brilliant it's, brilliant. Yeah, it's great and yeah i've just been making videos for them ever since and eventually started doing uh, a live stream a monthly live stream called um, challenge marley where me I, I host it and mm-hmm. other people other youtubers and people are just creating stuff in general uh bring a game in and challenge me at a game mm-hmm. and then I have my game at the end that I challenge them at and we just have a good laugh mm-hmm. for a couple of hours it's it's not really it's produced really well but it's kind of off the cuff it's not it doesn't have to be big totally fully planned yeah. yeah I think that's just a great thing about it yeah that that can be a positive that mm-hmm. it's not a f- fully fleshed out it's more thing. real life in it yeah mm. I think that's what maybe passed a lot of these I don't know older commissioners and producers by that people are more into authentic stuff that they can relate to mm-hmm. yeah. which i guess that's why people watch youtubers because mm-hmm. i'm just a regular person it's real there. yeah are you you yeah. are your own tv station you know Kinda, like, yeah. like yeah. What, what back in the day where it had to go through so many filters yeah before like it hit any, the big screen anyone can anyone can do this yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. A great, that's a great thing about it yeah it's just the consistency yeah it is what we were saying earlier because you know. because you might you might get that that bug as you were talking about earlier, and they yeah. did a few videos, and then it's just like ah, uh, yeah. you know, you've really got to keep at it yeah. as a full time job. And some people maybe like maybe it's just some people it just isn't for you. Like a lot of people that think they might want to be a YouTuber, it's just like that. I'm really like my best ever online friend that I haven't met, an American guy. Uh, we kind of blew up at the same time, like around that two thousand subscriber mark. We were making videos together, but he kind of I think he got to about eight thousand subscribers. And it kind of just fell out of it, and I think he realised it just wasn't really for him. Mm-hmm. And that's not a bad thing. He just no, realised no. it just wasn't it wasn't for him. And uh, I think I think maybe a lot of these younger people, I don't know if they realised that if they could handle the actual attention of having a crazy viral video, that sounds like a blow them on trumpet sort of thing. But it's true. There's I've had quite a lot of anxiety because mm-hmm. like videos blowing up, but maybe I just wasn't ready for that. I, crazy amount of views or yeah. attention mm-hmm. at that time i have mm-hmm. been had sleepless nights because think just thinking how am i going to follow this up actually yeah Stuff well like you're that. doubting so yourself over, yeah. overthinking yeah you think like wow this is a lot of expectation on my shoulders mm-hmm. now yeah so i yeah. can't top this that's that's yeah that's another that's another part of it yeah you think lo- it peaked <laughs> yeah, from, yeah at some point yeah and the thing is yeah. there's a lack of proper kind of education on that mm-hmm. or help yeah, it's for, a mental health for, 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 crea- for creatives or artists mm-hmm. in general mm-hmm. like Marley yourself or, or big DJs or anything like that you know you're just kind of you need to do it yourself yeah, almost that, like now do it yep and it's like there's not really a thing I think an important part of that though is that there's there's probably people out there that 
probably are going to be suited better to doing like the editing. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to actually being in front of camera. Yeah. I think nowadays yeah. it's so pushed that you need to do every role. But really, if you can just identify yeah. the role that you're good at, you double down on that. And then yeah. it's like you go in the camera, yeah. someone else goes in the camera, but, you, but you're the behind the yeah. scenes guy. Well, that's another thing. Uh, my good pal Batch, Scottish YouTuber, he's, he's done, he does a lot of on-camera stuff, but recently he's realised that he, yeah, he does really like the... Uh, producing side of it and behind the camera so yeah you just you just kind of figure out what you're really into i think i'm definitely more into doing stuff on camera rather yeah. than I, I obviously love editing it's, it's yeah i've been doing it for six years now but um i recently wanted to push myself a bit further and i uh, signed up for acting classes and mm-hmm. and that so let's just keep on pushing yourself and levels new avenues yeah yeah and yeah. strings to your bow yeah, that's, as yeah, we that's saying it. so yeah exactly that's and, it and that's what keeps you fresh you yep. know and it's like you can make a you can have a big hat and go that's it done yeah. i'm, Get, I'm the best your laurels. Yeah. ego time yeah. yeah and then exactly resting on your laurels and then you know you're not adding any extra mm-hmm. dimensions or elements or skill sets yeah. to your to mm-hmm. what you know yeah you need to I mean, we've talked about consistency and it's important but can if you're almost so consistent that the videos stay the same mm-hmm. then that that could be a problem over time yeah if it's just the same thing over and over again there's been i mean I'd, i've watched youtubers and i've just thought yeah it's just let's see something new now mm-hmm. and I, i've thought that recently myself that i like to try and push, push it's good that you're thinking like that though yeah it's identifying it and not yeah. letting, letting the ego just go go wild yeah, and go, like, no, i'm, no, I'm, I'm untouchable that. here yeah exactly what yeah, do you know anything. yeah it's yeah. the same in music yeah. exactly the same it is. you know keep tweaking it keep changing it mm-hmm. and keep learning new skills you know yeah Go and learn the piano. I mean, uh, like, there's, there has been a couple of times where I've tried something new and it maybe hasn't worked. And I'm like, oh, I'm pretty happy I tried it though. I'm just, I'm still here, still keep on going. Maybe people didn't like that in particular, but mm-hmm. you know, just move on for it and try something, try something else. Yeah, I totally. I think ultimately you can't get it right 100% no, of the time no, anyway, no. so there's no point in beating yourself up if mm. you think, oh, is this video going to be better or not? Because yeah. you will hit that next one anyway yeah. that'll, that'll do really, really well. Mm-hmm. But I think that is a, is a massive part. It's like, that you know, you've got to have a solid mindset because once you're putting yourself out on the line like that, you know, you're up for scrutiny as soon as it's out the gate. Yeah. You know, and it is. It's been able to deal with that. And I think that's no what you're talking about there, like mm. getting anxiety and stuff yeah. like that. Can totally, I can totally understand why that is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because you're you're getting a massive high, and then yeah. there's lows, and then there's yeah. time you're like, does any is anybody going to like this next one? I mean, it's it is it's the same with you guys who make music. You know, you're you're only as good as the, the last tune you put out, well, aren't you? That, yeah. I've heard that yeah. many times. It's the same. Yeah, uh, only as good as the last video you put out. It's the exact exact same. Yeah. It's a risky business. Yeah. It is a risky business. <laughs> there's but, no guarantees. But I wouldn't yeah. trade it for a thing. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no I would yeah. not because you wake up every day. Like straight in, right? How's that going to pan out? Yeah. The day, um, mm. I've not got this yeah. overbearing person telling me what to do, yeah. which I've experienced through. My, yeah, you know. But it's up to you to fill out your diary. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're, it's on you. It's responsibility, and it's just also a really good time. <laughs> yes. At the same time, yeah. Like, I've maybe I woke up after a video's done really well, and just woke up and thought, get a man, I want to make something right now. Mm-hmm. It's so much easier once the ball's rolling. You get that just natural motivation to make more yeah after you, you know because you're seeing the reward yeah you're like i'm going to keep on making this whereas sometimes maybe stuff gets a bit slower and it becomes tougher because you think right now i need to think of something a bit new and a bit out there mm-hmm. and i think back to every sort of video that's uh, took off almost has been something kind of new and not i've never had a sort of big break from something that everyone else has done before mm-hmm. say that to someone like thinking i just need to do this and then I just need to copy this person and then I can, yeah. you know. That doesn't work like that. No, it does not work like that. <laughs> You've got to bring your own value. Yeah. And even if it did work for a short amount of time. It's not forever. You, yeah, you, yeah, you can't keep that up. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of uh, streamings and mm. different sort of videos that are putting together, you mainly focus on Call of Duty and Fortnite, yeah. don't you? Yeah, uh, Call of Duty is my, my main uh, series mm-hmm. genre. But I'd say shooting games in general is probably my, uh, mm-hmm. my genre. But Fortnite is just so insanely popular right now that it's almost like i can't not, you can't not post that and i just enjoy the game as well yeah so yeah trying to incorporate that which is it's tough because people expect call of duty mm-hmm. but i learned quite a while ago that i was like, i don't want people watching just for the game i want them watching for me so that means i can play anything i enjoy yeah yeah and they'll enjoy it too so yeah it's just there's always going to be people be people that are just interested in call of duty that's fine understand that that's part of it that's but, fine uh, but it's important, I think, to get people that are interested in watching you and yeah. not what you're 
plane. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's cool, you know, taking something that's been immensely popular but yeah. transcending into something to yeah. show that it's about you yeah, as a yeah, person. Your own spin on yeah. it. And I've got Call of Duty's coming out in October this year, so that's that's a long time for me. It when The hype has kind of died off of the last Call of Duty. So that's now, good, so though. That's a long time for me to think, that right, how am I going to keep the growth going until I've got a chance to just Push go the new again. one. Yeah, just go crazy. So I'm like, well, I'll upload more Fortnite, but then I might get more people expecting Fortnite videos mm-hmm. when the new college it comes out. Never gonna win though, yeah. So <laughs> you're like, yeah, I've got when I think about all my all my subscribers at the time, there's been loads that have just stopped watching because I'm not doing that type of content anymore. I've got different got ones that I played a lot of Grand Theft Auto years and years ago. Mm-hmm. And a lot of those subs probably don't watch my videos anymore because mm-hmm. I'm not playing GTA. <laughs> that's just that's just the way it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's that's that that's a, an interesting point because we're the same in the sense of we're a music production studio, mm. but we are so interested in so many different yeah, things. Yeah. It's why we bring guys like yourself yeah. in, Chris McQueer, mm. uh, uh, you know, every spectrum of the creative industries, if you like. Yeah. And I think that's our segue and how we we get past it. Where it's like, look, we're not just music; we're the creative industries yeah. as a whole. We're always up for pushing other Scottish. Yeah. entrepreneurs or YouTubers yeah. or wh- whatever it may be if you've got a cool story to tell and you're out there bossing it and you enjoy what you do every day then hats off to you man we, we, we yeah. you know there's enough pie for everyone mm-hmm. out there well for a, for a while I was doing stuff that was like specifically for a Scottish audience obviously mm-hmm. Scottish cod players is mainly Scottish there are other people that enjoy it but mainly Scottish yeah. and then I was doing sort of topics based on stuff that Scottish people can relate to like mm-hmm. I don't know like social dancing or something like that mm-hmm. just uh, at school or whatever uh, and then it got to the point where it was like every time I tried something outside of that, people weren't really mm-hmm. watching Responding. it. So it was, and there's only there is only so many people in Scotland, so it's, <laughs> it's tough to. It was a, it was a bit of a risk to be like, right, I'm going to try something new, and I th- think it's again, it sounds like I'm blowing my own trumpet sort of thing, but I think it'd be good for people to hear that I managed to find a link from the Scottish thing to. I yeah. wanted to get back to game and stuff specifically because that's mm-hmm. that's where I enjoy it the most. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I decided. I'd done a lot of Scottish videos and then I decided, right, there's famous Scottish character in Call of Duty called Soap McTavish. Mm-hmm. Yes. R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, McTavish. So, yeah, so that was a, one of my biggest breaks on YouTube, making a video about him mm-hmm. called him Scottish Gaming Hero. Uh-huh. And that made the Scottish viewers happy because it was about a yeah, Scottish yep. game character and it brought in a bunch Opened of new up people. To a new and then I just pushed on with Call of Duty stuff again. So it was... If you're just, if there's someone watching, trying to just, there is a link out there, you'll find it. Mm-hmm. Whatever you're doing, if you want to try and push it into something new, mm-hmm. and you want to take a risk, you will, there will be a way. I guarantee there is a way to find it. And have yeah. you found yourself having to tailor your accent for your videos? Yeah, uh, well, pe- some people have called me a bit of a, a traitor, yeah. I don't, I don't speak the same way I do with my friends as I do on YouTube, that's true. It's almost like a posh sort of phone you voice. Just, you, 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 know cur- you need to cover your, yeah. your words the right way, don't I f- you? I found it's more, it's not really the accent, because, you know, Americans absolutely love the Scottish accent. We love the they, Scots. Yeah, they do, they do love it. But it's more, <laughs> I found it's more the actual slang words, that yeah. they literally do not know what they mean. So mm. kind of calm those down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, f- I found it's more the words rather than the accent, because they, they like the accent. They do, yeah, they, yeah. They do. I, and you want to be you, don't you? Yeah. You want people to like you for, for I you. I would say that there is, it is tougher for Scottish people, especially if, if you get a really strong Scottish accent. That is tough. There might be kind of a, a glass ceiling there that you, mm-hmm. you might have to change it a little bit. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make you a traitor or whatever. Don't think of people, oh, he's putting on his real yeah. accent, whatever. You know, Look at one of the most famous guys, Gerard Butler. Yeah. I mean, he's went Gerard right. Gerard Butler. He's changed it right yeah, up. Yeah, no, I know people slagging Gerard Butler for his accent, but he's also he a multi, multi-millionaire <laughs> and a famous movie star, so I, I think he's won. Now, he's got the last laugh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I think he's probably all right. <laughs> probably. Yeah. I, I know. Sure, his ego's in check. Yeah. So, Gary, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yes. Um, the past, there's yeah. been great uh, content here, some amazing uh, pieces of advice amazing. For, for our audience, for yours as yep. well for people who are interested in a wee insight and what yep. you're up to just now something different it's been great to have you in the studio mate thanks for having um, me honestly every, and every single time I do these they keep getting better 
Yes. You know, just keep going up levels. So it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks Cheers. so Cheers. much for that. Yeah, yeah. Anything to add yeah, down? I mean, definitely just in terms of for all the young people out there, hopefully this has been an inspiring video. You know, you've got to meet the man and uh, it just shows you how much hard work goes into it. Yep. And uh, really the amount of messages I've had from parents and young people yep. and even the programmes, they're all going wild, man. So <laughs> should be a good one. Should yeah, be a good yeah. one. Yeah. Um, hopefully people can... I don't know, Take something and want, want to actually finally get out there and, and make something. Yeah, yeah. and, and yep. stop uploading dog videos. Yeah, yeah, Aye. and start producing videos. Aye, yes, absolutely. <laughs> nice <laughs> one. Maybe we'll get you back on six months, twelve months, sure. whatever. See yeah. how things have changed. If again. we're allowed to talk to him, then Aye. <laughs> need to go through I'd several PAs. Yeah. Yes, um, hopefully not. Maybe, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so, video on tonight? There'll be a video tonight? Uh, no, a live stream tonight. Live stream tonight. Live stream tonight. Live stream tonight, video tomorrow, video Thursday. Always working, yep, folks. Yep, yep. Brilliant. Love it, man. Love it. Mali 13 troops. Yeah. To all the escapade family out there as well. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see you all soon. We'll be back. Episode 12. Yes. Yep. Subscribe. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs>